What's up guys? It's Kelly and today we are doing kind of a trendy video that I've been seeing popping up lately and that is the assumptions video. So if you haven't heard of this type of video, basically I asked you guys to anonymously send me things that you assume about me and I'm gonna read them and I'm gonna tell you if you're right. But since, I don't know, that might be kind of boring on its own, I'm going to be painting my nails while I do it. So, you know, we're just gonna be, I don't know, casually hanging out and I'm gonna be painting my nails and I'm gonna be basically just talking about myself. What I'm gonna be doing is some gallery Galaxy nails. I am not gonna really be like necessarily teaching you how I'm doing it. I have a ton of Galaxy videos though for nail art, so I will put a link up here to a playlist or to some of them in general. I just wanted to play around because I haven't done one in a while. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna pop over to Instagram and I'm gonna see what you guys have asked me. Okay, so we're just gonna start off with our base coat and I'm just using my Cuccio base coat here and I'm gonna read the first assumption. First one says, I assume you hate country music. Yes, that is absolutely true. I hate country music. I hate basically um, every country song I've ever heard. So I'm just gonna go in with black as my base color and then we're just gonna sponge on a bunch of colors on top of that. So the next assumption is you suffer from anorexia or an eating disorder at some point in your life. No, I never have before. Uh, I know that it is common, that was messy. <laughs> I know that it is common when girls are younger, especially to kind of, you know, have those feelings towards their body and sort of develop those types of disorders. I know that they're terribly damaging disorders and they can really impact your whole life. All right, next assumption, you love animals. Absolutely, I love animals. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I have like a whole featured section on just animals that I find. I'm gonna assume that you will be using Starly Polish to paint your nails during this upcoming video. You are very right. Although, to be fair, I read that one before I did this and I was like, oh, that's a good idea. I'll do a galaxy manicure. Next assumption is you express yourself through your hair and nails. I sure do. And I'd say my makeup too. So the cool thing with galaxy manicures is you kind of have no idea how they're gonna turn out until they're done. <laughs> so that's like one of the reasons why I love doing galaxy nails. Next assumption. Your favorite color is purple. That's actually not true. My favorite color is navy blue, specifically. <laughs> but my favorite color to wear on my nails is purple. So you're kind of right. You are not a fan of sports. And no, I am not. You are not as innocent as you seem. You may be wild. <laughs> I don't think I'm wild. I don't really do much, to be honest. Like, I don't drink, I don't really go out. I I'm not really wild, I'm kind of boring. <laughs> Next assumption, you don't like confrontation. Okay, that's actually not true at all. I, I kind of love, I don't wanna say like starting fights or anything like that, but like, I love arguing my point to people. By the way, I know this looks crazy right now, but don't worry, just trust the process. The other thing about galaxy nails is I, I always feel like they look awful until you're actually done with them. And then once you put on top coat, it's like an entirely different manicure, so. Okay, next assumption, you have too many palettes. <laughs> Absolutely, but I can't stop buying them. I kind of just need all the palettes. I've been trying really hard lately to only buy drugstore palettes and it's been working really well for me. So I have been saving money in that respect, but I I still think I have way too many palettes. I totally agree with that. So this one says, you're a hardcore rocker, but she listened to rap too. Okay, so that's a common misconception. I think just because of the way I dress and the way I look, people assume that I listen to like really hardcore music, but the truth is I actually don't at all. <laughs> like I, I, I really only listen to rap and EDM and that's kind of it. That's like where my whole, that's all my music. Next assumption, you basically live on coffee. Also wrong, you guys are getting a lot of assumptions wrong. I'm actually kind of like, I don't know, secretly pleased about it. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be, but uh, I actually don't, I don't drink caffeine at all. I do drink decaf coffee and I love it, but I really only drink it on the weekends, like when I go get coffee with people and I'm like, oh, I'll just get a decaf, that's fine. You don't keep in touch with people from high school. That is absolutely true. There's not one person from my high school that I keep in touch with. Like I honestly can't even think of one person. <laughs> you can see how this like totally looks like a mess right now. Now, but it's, it's gonna get better, don't you worry. Next assumption, you hate your job. I don't even know what you do. So I actually work at a doctor's office as, as a receptionist. And I know people like never believe me with my hair color, but that is what I do. And no, I don't hate it. I actually like it. I used to do like a lot more like stressful of a job. I used to work like as a, as a manager and it was a lot for me. I think this job is a lot better like for my mental health and stuff. So I actually, I really like what I do right now. And I wouldn't mind just kind of doing this. You dye your hair on your own. No, 
I do not. I get it done at a salon. I wish I could do it on my own, but honestly, I just feel like I would mess it up and I don't want to damage my hair too much. It's already pretty damaging just to do it in general. Next assumption, you're shy at first, but more outgoing, the more people get to know you. Yeah, I'd say that's probably true. I am really quiet when I first meet people usually, or it's either like one thing or the other. I'm either super quiet or I'm like, I can't stop talking and then I, I just feel like weirdly telling people too much stuff. All right, while this is drying, I'm just gonna go through a few of them. We're just gonna, we're gonna buzz through them. Okay, you don't wanna have kids. True. You don't miss your old life in Atlanta. True. You were one of the crazy popular kids in school. Absolutely not. Not only was I not popular, I actually like, didn't even have a friend group. I had no friends in high school. I used to like eat lunch at my locker because I didn't have anybody to sit with. So there, I mean, obviously everybody wants to be cool when they're in school, but I didn't really have anybody that I hung out with regularly. And that was totally fine because I focused on my schoolwork and I got really good grades and I got a full academic scholarship to college. So. Can't complain. <laughs> All right, now we're ready for this transformation. When we put the top coat on, you're gonna say, well, let me, maybe I should clean this up a little bit first. You are married. No, I am not. I am in a relationship with somebody. We've been together for, I don't know, a couple months shy of a year. I assume that you like to have a good time at home with a small group of people. Yes, that is absolutely true. I do have anxiety. There's, there's a little hashtag anxiety in there. Yeah, so I don't really love going out out. So when I hang out, it's it's usually something small. Okay, next assumption. You're low-key queer. You were a really good student. Yeah, I think so. I was a really good student. Like I said, I got a scholarship to college. So I know when you're younger, it seems like it's so much more important to be cool. But now as an adult, all I can say is like, don't, e don't even worry about it. Like you're going to make friends later in life. Like focus on your school, get good grades go to a good college, and then you can like worry about being cool and popular and stuff. Cause like I said, I had no friends in high school. I had no friends in middle school. I don't talk to any of those people. And I have a good group of friends now. I have a good job now and I'm super happy now. So that's what's important. You were a goth back in high school. No, not, not really. I want to say not really. I mean, absolutely not. I kind of didn't really have any kind of style. Just wore like baggy t-shirts and like sweatpants because I don't know. It's like, wh like, what does it matter how you dress in high school? You know what I mean? I feel like I'm ragging on high school out here, but I really do think that the most important thing is just to like get good grades. That's literally the only reason that you're in school. Like, don't worry about anything else. Literally nothing else matters. Okay. So here is the final little galaxy look. I feel like it kind of turned out more looking like like comets than regular just little galaxies. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I figured we could just have a little chillax video. Chillax video? That's not really a thing. Well, we could just chill out, talk about me. <laughs> and uh and do my nails so now i'm gonna go do my other hand and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so give it a thumbs up if you liked it let me know in the comments i don't know if you assumed anything incorrectly or correctly about me and uh that's it so i'll talk to you guys later bye i'm not gonna have a fun fact for this video because literally this entire video is just fun facts hope you guys enjoyed it talk to you later bye